Kevin. And I'm Donnie. And we're Honey, Honey Revenge. Revenge. You might have seen our last episode with Digital Tour Bus back in the spring. We're excited to show you how far we've come. <laughs> <laughs> we're currently out on the Say It To My Face tour. We're out with Meet Me At The Altar, John Harvey and Elliot Lee. We're in a van and we're gonna show it to you. Okay, so we're in the front seat. Last time we were on Digital Tour Bus, we were all splitting the drive besides me because I don't know how to drive. But now we have a driver. His name is Spencer. Spencer. I'm not Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer sits here. He gets us where we need to be. We love him. Uh, his co-pilot is RTM Raven. Uh, they're always up here getting stuff handled, taking care of us. <laughs> but we do have a lot of cool little knickknacks. Um, we got a worm on the string that a fan gifted us in Toronto. We love worms on a string. Um, <laughs> And then we have a bunch of little just presents. Someone gave us, we have our song Miss Me, so someone gave us a cute little phone to match that. They also gave us a plushy cassette tape and it's very cute and they all have names. We have another one of these that my friend gave us up in Northern California, but it's like a Yeti. Her name is Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Um, and then other than that, just miscellaneous things. This is to make sure that we can park here legally and not get towed underground at the House of Blues in Chicago. Spencer usually asks for music requests when we start a drive, so we'll like start with a record someone wants to hear, then when everyone tunes out, he'll like change it to what he wants. So we all like have a little happy balance, but it's been a lot of like, what has he been listening to recently? We were playing the new Banks Arcade record today yeah. because that just dropped. Um, I've been feeling very emo and reminiscent of my days as a Hardcore Issues fan and since they just played their final shows I've been requesting a lot of issues when we're done with the show at the end of the night. The best thing is we are in a taller van this time. We can stand up! <laughs> we can stand up. Um, but the heat and all the air is up here which we are constantly changing because one minute it'll be too hot and one minute it'll be too cold. Um, that's pretty much the front. Not a ton of us stay up here because it's mostly our TM and our driver. This is our merch manager, M's Bench. Um, this is her Squishmallow Zap, who is a little matcha. And this is Georgios. He is a lobster, and he's a big fan of movies. We are a big Squishmallow family. That was something that started on our first tour and just grew. We pretty much pick up one or two new Squishmallows every single tour now. They're really great for when you're sleeping in a van and lying on the seat belts, so they cover that up. And they're really good to cuddle with when you're lonely. So. This is where we keep our trash. It's <laughs> our first tour. It was littered with garbage. The, especially this row was where myself and our bass player Tay shared. And we were just crammed up in here. And now we have a much better organization system. Um, we keep some waters underneath. This white claw specifically was given to us last night in Detroit. It's a funny story because on our first tour, we were going from Detroit to Toronto. And so we had to discard all of our alcohol and you know, other substances. And <laughs> in a drunken haze, I found a fan outside the venue and gave him white claws that we couldn't take with us. And then he ended up remembering that. And so he brought us this big pack last night to say thank you. And it was very, very sweet and very, very funny. And it, I didn't understand it first. And then he told me and I totally remembered the story. So this is my seat. This is sunny. We be chilling. We be hanging. Uh, sometimes I'll put it right here and I'll just curl up and go to bed. And sometimes I gotta like make like a lightning bolt. Before these white claws were here, I would like lay down in the floor and that's how I would sleep sometimes. Uh, so I'm here and then Matt is over here. Uh, over there you got his sleeping bag, his Celsius. This is another bag of Celsius. <laughs> got a Celsius, hoodie. please endorse us. My drummer <laughs> is making you rich. <laughs> So we hang out up here uh, and vibe. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that row. But this is my row, which is really crazy because I'm always either sharing a row or just a little bit crammed with someone else. And this time, because we have one less crew person, I get my own row. These are all of my Squishmallows. Most recently, this is Bongo, and I've kept his tag on just for this occasion so I can read it. If it would just open. Okay. Bongo is a pug who loves to cuddle with his mom and play with his favorite toy, a cute little caterpillar. So I got him specifically because he likes to cuddle, so he's my cuddly guy. Um, this is Harrison. He likes hockey. 
and I want to say this one's name is Chet. We got him on our first tour and I bring him on every single one because his description was that he loves the open road. So when I can't remember his name, I just ask for the one that loves the open road. We told you about these last time, but these are handmade quilts made by our lovely friend Yvette in Colorado. And I've taken it on every tour because it literally has my name on it. It has a B, it says Honey Revenge. It keeps me warm and it's also not too hot. So I don't wake up in a heap of sweat. This is Donnie's quilt, and I do just be putting my foot up here. This is my new tour thing, is that I've started to read books. So I have like a library in here of all of the books. These are the two I've yet to read, and these are the three that I've read since we left. There's about, I don't know, 2,400 pages in these three. So I've been reading A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is a really popular series right now and I read the first two books when I was home before tour and then I finished this before we even got to the first date in Florida which was a cross-country drive given so it's not too crazy and then there was like a smaller book in between kind of like a filler and then I just finished this one and now I've moved on to her other series a throne of glass and that's what these three are is that series so it's been really awesome on long drives I was getting really sick of being on my phone all the time and it's been a really nice distraction and extra thing to do that isn't just mindlessly scrolling back row is gonna be our bass player Tay they are the biggest sleeper on our crew they can sleep through anything anytime so they also have their squishmallows they're this really cute little fruit bat that we love very dearly and this is one of their original bats. They are spooky. Their username is Witchy Bassist, so it, it, it makes sense. Um, they're like me. I usually keep a little bag hanging here, but it's currently in the green room. So right here, we've got their little snack bag and their pillows and their squishmallows. And then we keep a back roller, which I'll probably end up bringing up after this because it's just a lot of sleeping and stiffness when you're on the road. So this helps relieve some tension in the spine. Um, and then I have a duffel of just like clothes to have on hand. So this is not my show clothes, but more so if I need an extra hoodie or I wanna change my socks, comfy clothes. That way I don't have to go into the trailer every time I need to do that. Um, but yeah, they have blankets here. This is Donnie's pillow. Um, and everything else is pretty much back here. As you can tell, we've gotten a lot more organized since our first episode with you guys. So this second door doesn't open all the way because of our trailer hitch. Uh, but it looks like we got uh, some of Tay's clothes. Uh, a new jacket, they just got it in Mahal's on this tour. This looks like Dev's shoe bag, someone's laundry bag. This is my laundry bag. Uh, here we got tire chains because there's snow on the ground and you gotta be prepared, better safe than sorry, you know? And there's usually other bags hanging up too, but I guess they've made their way inside today. I definitely kept my shoes all over the place on the last couple tours and then eventually found the system of a shoe bag and us having this in a taller van just allowed for more space. We also have a bigger trailer on our first tour. Donnie was sleeping on a bunch of baggage in the back seats and now we have a trailer big enough to put both our baggage, suitcases, and gear. But yeah, I mostly, I have a bag full of shoes, so I keep those in there. And I also have a vocal steamer to make sure I don't dry out before I sing. So that's upstairs now, but it's usually back here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to be taking a break from touring after this. This spring we're going to be writing our next record. So hopefully by the time this is out, you'll be hearing a little bit more about that. Um, we have a lot of new music coming very, very soon. For future tour dates, you can check them out on our website. If you follow us, we're Honey Revenge CA on all socials across everywhere. So if you're trying to find out where we're gonna be next, that's your best bet. We also have a Discord. If you wanna make a friend with similar music taste, that's the place to do it. All things can be found on our website or at the link in the bio of any social media platform we have. Um, we're really stoked to be back on Digital Tour Bus and hopefully next time, We'll upgrade from a van to something even better. <laughs> <laughs>